Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin and I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. As I was saying that, my grin was like this big because I am just thinking about my excitement level for the last few episodes and how I pretty much passed out because my heart rate was too high, you know, low blood pressure. But that's the complete opposite because if my heart rate was really high, I'd have high blood pressure. So surprise, um, I'm clearly delusional because I'm too excited, okay, to watch season four, episode eight of Haikyuu today. It's called Challenger. You know what? I have a lot of ideas about this, but my predictions are usually wrong, so I won't say it. Um, what I will say is just how satisfying the last two episodes have been. Can I get an amen over here? Like, yes. First of all, Datiko is back. We know how I feel about them, especially my brother. You know. Um, and the king is back. But he's not going to be quite the level of the king he was in middle school. He's going to be a little more diplomatic, maybe not. He's gonna be in between the goody two-shoes Kageyama and the king of the court Kageyama. Okay, he's gonna speak his mind. The whole team is gonna feel free to like say what they feel, try new things. If they don't feel like listening to him, they aren't gonna listen. But that episode was the beginning of the notch that had to flip for this team to win nationals. You heard it here first. So, okay, our boy has free reign to just rule the court like the badass setter he is. And I just cannot wait to see what he does with this like newfound sense of uh, on-court leadership. I'm already talking so much, you guys are like, okay, Let's get started, like get to the episode. I can't, okay? I am too excited. So much has happened. <sighs> okay, time to slow my pulse for a couple seconds before it ramps up again. So anyways, thank you for putting up with my excitement and my complete rant about everything that's just come out of my mouth. So anyways, Right now, we are watching season four, episode eight of Haikyuu called Challenger, and I'm like 10 out of 10 excited. So here we go. That is a long jump. Mm. Broke a rib. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Mm. That's what he meant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. さっき大野ブロックが戸惑ったように見えましたね。今まで影山が競ったの時、日向が<笑> 
初めて見たなら当然知っていたらなおさら、うん、でも相手は伊達公戦略としてのブロックの形を変えることはあってもこっちにかき回されることは少ない伊達公のすごいとこは日向に超速攻を決められてもそれはそれと割り切ってるところ同時ないよね伊達公はブロックが強いからといって全部を止めようとしてるわけじゃないドシャットじゃなくてもあらゆる攻撃に2枚はついてくるし日向の超速攻自体にも触る止められなくてもコースさえ絞ればフロアディフェンスが弱りだしねそして試合後半疲れてきた日向を満を持してドシャット I seem so happy about it <笑>ダテコの超理想的なストーリーお前どっちの意味だ、yeah, yeah, The only thing I could think of when I was seeing that is how my legs would stick to the floor and rip the skin off. I don't think that would be very comfortable. Also, if I'm wearing shoes, I'm not sure I could bend my foot in the way that the top of my foot drags, so I would have my toes pointing to the side like a penguin, and that wouldn't work. All I could think about watching that was the mechanics and thinking, no, I wouldn't be able to do that. That would be painful. That was not supposed to be the focus of that scene, however, <laughs> but I fixated on it. Um, so, it's very interesting to talk about this. Blending into the crowd, yes, excellent. Because what could happen if Hinata was running the minus tempo that he was is that because he's coming in quicker, Datiko could prioritize him first. Then, when they see that he didn't get the ball, it would be easier to disperse because the attack tempos are staggered. With everybody attacking at the same tempo, they have more options to add into the mix, which makes their attention be dispersed even more thinly. So very interesting that they brought that up. We're getting deep into the volleyball strategy here. He's gonna have to set a different ball. これはお前らの速攻を初めて見たとき、すげえと思った。見惚れたんだ。どこからでも使える速攻、ブロックを翻弄するブロックにとって怖い速さ。そして速さは万能と思っていたが、でも手だれのリードブロックに対して先に飛
ックがひなたを気にしてるなまあ今までやかましかったやつが急に黙ったみたいな感じだもんね集中しろ相手は完全に新しいことやってるわけじゃねえぞそうシンクロ攻撃自体は月島もひなたもやってることは同じでもああ、ウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウザラップウ Yes. Okay. Yes. Did anybody notice? Did they do a. Did they say something special to signify that they're going to run the minus tempo? Because I know in like season one, they said bring it. When they would run the mine, the like ultra fast freak quick. So I kind of blanked on that. I wasn't paying close attention to what he noticed said.、Um, but wondering if they had a special cue so that they were both on the same page.、Um, yes. Also, the evolution of the team in last episode was very fast. Like, Oh, let's all start arguing with each other, but it's gonna work right now. They are back, and this is the same match, and now they're playing great.、Um, you know what? It's fine. Expected? Maybe not. But because it's Karasuno, I will say yes. Mm. Whoa, that was kind of scary face. Paused, but let's let this happen. Um, yes, okay, it is good that we are going to have more than one thinker on the court now. Okay, Tsukushima was doing a lot of the thinking when they played Shiro Torizawa as far as the defensive system and stuff, but like now. To incorporate Hinata, who has like started to be very observant and start to understand a little bit more about the techniques and the strategies. Kageyama has free reign to like run the show. Now it will be very helpful because not only are they going to have somebody thinking on the defensive end, but now offensively as well. So it's really cool to see everybody like evolving. 
集中しろよ時間的にこれが今日ラストセットなんだからなはずまれ疲れてきても我慢してフォームきれいにはい Okay, well, and here I just said that they got so much better. That probably pained him so much to say that. Okay, was that out? I mean, it was a good shot, especially if he disguised it. Oof. He's also developed his float serve. He needs to get confidence in a game situation. Nothing like having two good f jump float servers. Oh, nice. You could tell he was a little nervous. Okay. Oh my god, I saw that. Mm. Go. Yes. It was just the eye contact. Nice touch. <laughs> Is he jumping like he learned? Oh, baby. I'm sorry, why is Kogane on the left? He's the setter. Okay, why is he blocking on the left side? Was that on purpose or was it a mistake? Because he should not have been over there. Looks like the communication is happening with eye contact, unless I'm completely missing something here because how the heck do they know what they're doing? Normally the hitters have to like call so the setter knows. I'm not hearing any calls. I'm sure you'll tell me though. Oh 
Oof. Car, go! The eye contact is so aggressive. Need we remember season one, episode 16? High off the hands. <laughs> yeah, baby. Nice swing. <gasps> the confidence. Our little sweetie, our soft hearted Asahi just had some swagger. You love to see it. Okay, he's a little timid, he's a little unsure of himself, he lacks confidence sometimes, but you know what? He learned his lesson, he is no longer afraid. He, did you see those eyes? He was determined. That's what you need from your ace, fearlessness. Everything is moving in the right direction. I'm gonna start sweating soon. My hands, yes, move. This is gonna go very well. Finger training? What is wrong with Asahi? Oh, he just, he can breathe again. Okay, that explains it. Okay. Looks like he's still a little intimidated. You know what? He can be a softie off court. As long as he's got that attitude when he's on court scoring points, that's all that matters. But also, fingertip push-ups. Okay? I don't believe it. Okay. I don't personally know a setter who does fingertip push-ups. All right, just thinking about that, like my thumb is dislocating. Um, my, okay. I do know that setters typically train with like a heavy ball. Um, and I've seen that a lot but not the fingertip push-ups. And I will also say what the, the deal about the fingernails. Also never heard of that. I have, however, seen a lot of setters who get cracked hands, especially in the winter or in dry weather. My setters in college um, would get like 
cracks all over their hands and so they would have to tape those so they wouldn't like bleed because they just have so many contacts within their hands. But taping your fingernails, you would think like blockers have more of an issue with their fingers and fingernails than setters. I can't even tell you the number of times that I've like jammed my finger or like broken finger, a finger because of just the impact. But that whole conversation was very confusing. Maybe I just have, I was about to say maybe I haven't experienced enough setters, but like I've played with a lot of setters. So if anybody out there has seen this, tell me. Oh, he's also digging Asahi style. They always just stare at each other. I can't wait till they have a full conversation. <laughs> oh, look who's got his confidence. Oh, everybody. Okay, he needs to go home now. <laughs> oh, speaking of fingertip push-ups. <laughs> Look at that pose, routine. That's the second person that he's asked that. Okay, when he asks, what do you think about when you're receiving? Like in my brain, it goes to what are you thinking about when you're like serve receiving? Or does he mean what do you think when you're gonna contact the ball? Somebody tell me what he means when he asks that because like the direct translation that I am reading is like, what do you think about when you're about to receive? It's like somebody serves and you're about to pass it. That is what it is. Um, so if I actually, if that is what it is, I will tell you my answer, but I don't think it is. <laughs> でも、there you go. Yes. A little competition between the pinch servers. He might be. There, there is nothing better than some healthy intra squad competition. Okay, because if you have players that are just so much better than everybody, and I'm not saying this is the case always, it, t it is certain personalities would tend to lean this way more than others, but 
If there are some times, if there are players that are just so much better than everybody else, they know that they have their position locked up. And like, what motivation do they have to like really grind every day, to really like push and have 100% focus? If you have players that are like actively competing for the same position, they have to be on every single day and then they increase each other's level. That is the best because everybody is pushing each other to get better and nobody feels like secure or safe that they can just like coast. Typical. Looks like we might have a little extra scene. Gosh, did you see that? Was that he not? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is amazing. Um, I, yes, the crows fly to Tokyo once again. I feel that. Excellent. <sighs> I love how Hinata's baby sister worded her observation of just like, it looks like you and the ball are best friends now. He used to seem like a stranger. Like, how perfect is that? That's exactly what it was. Um, oh, yes, so unique. Love that analogy. Um, also love the drills he was doing. I have made a video about that um and if you want to increase the difficulty do it only setting then do it only passing and then do it with one hand it's quite fun um i mean yet again top-notch episode um we see the adjustments being made we see that more and more people are actively thinking and strategizing um, about the best course of action to, you know, play defense and then how to counter a good defense. So like, I love to see it. You see the motivation from guys. Um, some like 
to inspire each other and to push each other to be better. Love that. You see the swagger and the confidence coming out in Asahi. Like so many little pieces are being like fit into place here. And I'm like a hundred percent convinced that by the time they go to Tokyo, the whole puzzle is going to be like there. So <sighs> this is great. Um, hit me up with your comments. I asked several questions during this episode. Very important stuff. Um, so please, if you know the answers or you want to share something else, I would love to hear it in the comment section below. Um, as always, I would be so happy if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time for episode nine. Thanks guys.